Now to the holiday shopping season, retailers trying to figure out how to deal with high inflation. Rebecca Jarvis is back with a look at the services that make it easier to buy gifts. Good morning, Rebecca. Hi, George. Nice to see you again. And this is all about attention. If they can get your time, they have a much better shot at getting your money. And at a time when prices are still climbing, retailers are focusing on innovative new extras to get you to shop and spend. This morning, the pressure is on for retailers to lure customers. With recent numbers showing consumers plan to buy about half as many gifts as last year, their strategy to win you over? Convenience. That the customer ought to be able to dictate their own terms as to how they shop. Neighborhood Goods is incorporating a new way to make shopping even easier. The ability to check out from anywhere in the store called POS Go. The new system now an option for thousands of small businesses through the Shopify platform. And with 41% of consumers citing checkout speed as an important factor this holiday season, it's only one example of how retailers are dealing with the fallout of inflation and keeping customers coming back. There are less dollars that are going around. And one thing that retailers are doing to make sure that the customer has a very easy purchasing experience is to make sure that there are different ways that they can go ahead and pay for that product. And it's not just brick and mortar stores. Online, Amazon will soon be adding Venmo as a payment option, and Walmart continues to double down on live stream shopping. Welcome to Talk Shop Live. One of the biggest issues for retailers is cart abandonment and having that change of heart when you're in the store. Just making the whole process easier that will ensure that the retailers are selling the product and that the customer is having a great experience purchasing the product. And one more option that's showing up more and more, buy now, pay later. You frequently see it at checkout. So instead of paying in one lump sum, your purchase is split typically in four fixed payments. Approval takes a few minutes, often with no interest or finance charges. And it can be appealing if you have limited access to credit, but it's also important to not let this pay later aspect lead you into overspending on impulse purchases. Taking on too many buy now, pay later payments can hurt your credit score and paying them late can rack up fees and late charges and George in the same way that you can get into credit card debt and get a real struggle to get out of it buy now pay later it sounds good but you have to use it and manage it responsibly that is an important yellow flag right there Rebecca thanks very much well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.